Now we look at the hyperbolic paraboloids. So this is uh, again a paraboloid, meaning that again it's going to have uh, two squared and one linear terms. And just like we saw with the elliptical paraboloids, it'll also be the case that um, <coughs> traces with fixing x constant or y constant will give you parabolas. The difference is that this time they'll be facing in different directions. So we're looking at, uh, so the, the definition of a hyperbolic paraboloid or the characterizing feature um, is that then we have um, Squared terms have different signs, and in terms of the geometry, that means that the um, parabolas open in opposite directions. Okay, uh, <clears throat> so let's see what's going on with an example so uh, a hyperbolic paraboloid can be written in general form uh, ax, uh, x over a squared with a minus sign and y over b squared with um, a positive sign equals uh, z over c so i've written it here so that um, the, the linear term is positive, which I can always do by multiplying through by minus one. And let's see. So now let's uh, sketch some traces of, of this sucker. So again, we will uh, consider a equals b equals c just to keep things light. So we've got um, the equation z equals minus x squared plus y squared. Okay, and let's look at some traces. So we can look at the trace uh, z equals zero. And I don't like that one. There, that's a little better. Okay, so for this one, we're looking at uh, minus x squared plus y squared equals zero. Okay, so that's the same thing as x squared equals y squared. Oh, that's a curious one. Maybe you haven't come across this one before. But this is the same thing as, well, if I take the square root of both sides, it's the same thing as saying the absolute value of x is the same thing as the absolute value of y. So that means x is equal to plus or minus y. And so that's true al along the line y equals x. But it's also true along the line y equals minus x. So this level surface is, or sorry, level set is actually uh, a pair of curves. So it's kind of an unusual one. Um, then let's see. So now if I go up to say z equals one, and I want to look at, um, Wow. what's going on up here then let's see so now I'm going to have a minus x squared plus y squared equals 1 and let's see so this is going to be a hyperbola how do I remember which way the hyperbola is going well, let's see, if I set y equal to zero, there's no solutions, right? So if I look on the side and I have for, for y equals zero, I get uh, minus x squared equals one. And that never happens because we don't deal with complex or imaginary numbers in this course. Um, so let's see, so y equals zero is this line right here. So it's telling me that the hyperbola does not cross that line. So that means it must be a hyperbola that looks like this one. Okay, and if we go down to z equals minus one, then um, let me throw in another slice plane there. 
then for this one, we're going to be looking at minus x squared plus y squared equals minus 1, or x squared minus y squared equals 1. And for this one, there's no intersection uh, with the, the x plane, or the x axis. Uh, sorry, with the line x equals 0, which is the y axis. Blah, blah, blah. Um, so if I take uh, x equals 0, then I have no solution, so no intersection. So that means then that this one must go the other way. All right, so now you'll probably agree with me that that's a pretty ridiculous looking picture and it's impossible to tell what's going on. This one is actually notoriously difficult to draw a surface and it's much easier to figure out what's going on by actually taking traces where x is equal to uh, where x is fixed or where y is fixed. And so if you fix a value of x, you might see something that looks like um, this one, which you can recognize as being an upward opening parabola shifted down by 4 in the yz plane. And for different values of x, that's going to determine um, uh, how how much it's shifted up or down. And then if I were to, uh, say, fix some value of y, then I would have, uh, so say I do the same thing and fix it equal to 2, just like I did in the other one, then that's going to be a downward opening parabola um, lifted up by 4. And so that's, oh, you know what? I just realized I drew this one in the wrong plane. It should have been like this. And then this one would be like this in the uh, the xz plane. Okay. Um. And so if you take a bunch of these uh, surfaces or, or slices together, then you start to end up with. Oh gosh, a little bit tricky. There we go. And uh, shoot, I need one more of those. There he is, I've got him, okay. Put him up there, and we got a Pringle! It's uh, more commonly called a, a, a saddle, but there it is. So it comes down like this, and then up like this, up like this and then like that so we've got something oh who am I kidding these, these things are impossible to sketch um, well, well maybe they came out okay um, let's, let's have the computer give us the real story BAM there we go so the things to look for um, in this in this figure just just to see what's going on um, is, is that just like in, in the last example, what we saw was that the, um, the, the slices with z equals a constant, instead of being ellipses, they are now hyperbolas. And this is what I tried to draw at first, and I, I don't think it really came through all that great. But, um, if I let's see, so if I if I slice the figure at a height two like this one, then I would actually get um, a hyperbola that cuts through it just like that. Whoops. Um, and and similarly, if if I if I slice it down uh, down below. Um, I would have gotten something that slices it like this and and gives me some hyperbola going the other way. Um, meanwhile, at the same time, here, maybe I should uh, get a um, uh, another copy of this figure here, and otherwise it's going to get too muddy. Then. Ah, 
It came with all its little dang decorations. One moment. Clean up this. Zip, zip. Okay, there we go. Um, so then those those traces uh, with X and Y fixed that, that I um, just drew a moment ago, you, you can actually see those in the figure. So here's these, these lines that Mathematica has cunningly drawn on for me. Those are precisely slices where, where Y values are fixed and these blue ones right here are slices where the um, X value is fixed.